What's the future of public transit here in Nashville? A recent survey ranked Nashville's bus and train system among the least used for the biggest cities across the country. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Hunter Hoagland in for Rory and Kerry. As News Channel 5's Jason Lamb explains, We Go Public Transit says improvements will need a lot more money from the city's budget. It's something easier to notice on rainy days like this. Some WeGo bus stops have shelters to keep people dry. This bus serves Route 18. While most others don't. This week it caught the attention of Metro Councilwoman Angie Henderson, who tweeted, if Taylor Swift gets a bench at Centennial Park, can we get one for transit riders? WeGo says the answer simply comes down to funding. There's a lot of issues that go into it. A shelter could range anywhere from 30 to $200,000. Um, that adds up to a lot of money. In the last nine years, WeGo has built more shelters, from 109 sheltered stops in 2014 to 280 today. But that's a small fraction of the total bus stops in Nashville, with what WeGo says are about 1,200 still without shelters. We're chronically underfunded when it comes to uh, comparable cities. Um, you know, out of uh, 40 metropolitan areas, uh, we're one of only four that doesn't have a dedicated funding source uh, for mass transit. In fact, cities like Pittsburgh and Indianapolis, which have populations about the same size as Nashville, have much more transit money in their operating budgets than Nashville does. One reason WeGo says its transit system is so underused, the lack of sidewalks in many neighborhoods to get people to a bus stop. If it's hard to get to a bus stop because there's not sidewalks, that makes it very tough for you to take the bus. WeGo says it would love to build more shelters like this new complete street project on 12th Avenue South. It says it just needs the funding commitment first. Now's the time. As Nashville grows, now's the time to get it done. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.